Hello everyone, welcome to Study Guide Forum. Today we'll be looking at specimen A in regards to the West African uh, YEC exam uh, 2020, 2024. According to the report, the instruction given, specimen A is what? Um, gear or fish. So this gear or fish, we want to look at some of the basic things that's of basic thing that we can find in in the specimen. One of the things we have there is the gill records. We have the gill arc and then we have the filament. Now the function of this gill, gill records is to stop re restrict uh, food from entering or passing through the um, the filaments thereby damaging it. So the Greek the gill records help to prevent food particles from entering through the gill chamber in order to, in other words, preventing it from being damaged. So uh, another thing we look at here is the gill arc. The gill arc is where the filaments are built upon. The filaments are built upon the gill arc, uh, arc and then down there again, we find the the filament. The filament is a major part, is a major part that does the work of uh, respiration in aquatic animals like fish. So with this filament, as water passes through here, it goes to the filament, and then the filament absorbs the oxygen that is in the air and releases carbon four into the that is in the water and releases carbon four into the water. Now, one of the features that help this thing to be effective is because of the thin uh, single cell thickness or single cell layer that they have. That makes them to be effective. One of the uh, features, adaptation that make to be effective um, a respiratory organ. Now, the next one we'll be looking at um, will be the specimen B. Specimen. So, what we have on the board there is a liver with gallbladder. bladder that's the best the major part of our interest the area of interest is it this is the pancreas but it's according to the question um what we're expecting the pancreas might not be very very um it might not be area of concentration because we're looking at the specimen they say that uh, that contain liver with the gallbladder. bladder the gallbladder bladder is there and then the liver is there one of the things the liver does for the body is it helps to detoxify the body it helps to store um store um vitamins it helps in storing of vitamins it also helps in regulation of blood sugar and also um and also blood protein now uh, these are the few things the liver can do functions of the liver this gall bladder one of the function the major function here is help to you know, in the digestion of what uh, fats and oil, it helps in fact the digestion of fats and oil. So this is one of the, some of the things you should pay bear in mind as you're going into the exam in order to you know um, answer the question very well. So you should also bear this in mind. And the next one we're going to be looking at now will be our specimen, our specimen C. The specimen C is what we are going to be looking at. So this is the lungs. Now, is a um. Uh, the dry diagram of the lungs giving us a um, few um, information about the lungs and the basic ones we have the trachea, we have the rotus, we have the lungs, we have the alveoli, we have also the rotulus. Now, this is the um, this is the part for the wind. We know sometimes we call it what windpipe, where the wind pass through the air pass through here pass through here and get and get to the points this branch ends and then part of the branch here where we call the branch roots then it passes into the lungs inside the lung we have the uh, bronchilus these ones are the branches at the end of the branches of that you have the alveoli this alveoli is contained in a, a sac the sac where the the exchange, uh, exchange of gases take place. This is where the major area where the exchange of gases take place. And we have a 
which other thing we want to talk about we'll be talking about here okay inside this place is where the gas is, is exchanged then the carbon 4 will come out while the carbon um oxygen will diffuse in carbon 4 will diffuse out and that process the next thing happens the oxygen that is absorbed moving there so the basic thing here is that the lungs the major function of the lungs is for exchange of what gases respiration and is adapted to what land tertia animals that is land animals unlike the lovely uh, the gills that we we'll talk about that is all uh, that's adapted to what um that is uh, aquatic animals but then there are some uh, similarities between, uh, something they have in common the basic thing they have in common here is that the lungs and the uh, the gills they are for what respiration while the difference is that these other ones are for land animals the lungs is for long, land, land animals, while the gills is for world aquatic animals. But then all the features, characteristics, other uh, similarities they have here is that all the features or adaptation that help them to perform this function remain the same, like single cell thickness, and they are also they are also uh, constantly supplied with blood. That's a medium, transport medium, in order to support and the activity they are doing their function now another thing is that like i said earlier um, one cell thickness and also uh, they are always must they are always must so that the fusion of gases can easily take place these are some of the things you should also note as you're going in for this exam so the next one we're going to be looking at we'll be looking at specimen specimen c d this is c we'll be talking about specimen d at the moment so this is the gilza. The gilza, major function of the gilza is for um, the gizzard. The gizzard of the bed, the major function of the gizzard is for what? Um, digestion. Inside the gizzard, they have something like, they have some stones, small, small stones inside it. This small, small stone inside it helps in grinding of the food. It helps in grinding it. After grinding it, that means um, it's, um, the food will then be um will be a kind of grounded in order for the digestion to continue effectively so um that means in the grinding it helps to increase the surface area for the enzymes in the in the intestine of the bed to actually act on it very very effectively so we're going to be looking at the next uh, specimen, which will be going to be the last one we're going to uh, um, discuss in this very video. And then in the next one, we can continue. Let's look at the next uh, specimen that we have. So this is our intestine. That's the next one. And the next specimen, specimen E, which is the intestine of a, a bed. Now, um, down here we have the ossifagus or the gullet. We have the crop. Um, the gullet or ossifagus is the uh, channel that allows food to get down to the crop. Crop is where they rest for a moment, then allowing a mixture of other enzymes and substances that will help in promoting the digestion process. Now moving from there, we have we reach to we get to the point. If just before the gizzard, you have what we call probe proventricles where the which is a kind of entrance of which is a, a channel that leads to the what to the gizzard where the um the food is granted is granted and then from there we get to the pancreas pancreas uh, excretes some enzymes that help that, that that promote the digestion of the food down here we have the liver then from this liver then the Part of the food, um, the the storage of the sugar, and they also do uh, the storage of what um, protein. That is the blood protein, the sugar protein, the the blood sugar, and all the rest of them. They are acted upon. They are work on. Our, they, that's the work of the liver here. Liver help to store all those things. Now, from this end of it, what happened is that uh, the small intestine. The absorption of the food starts from the, it, it continues in this place. Once the food has been digested, the, the food, um, the food substances that, that, that digested will then be absorbed in the small intestine. Then down the 
small intestine, you just down there, you get the large intestine where um, most of the water, reabsorption of water takes place. And from there, it gets to the red room. In the red room, red room, where this, that's where it stays for a moment, a moment before it passes through the world cloaker. Then the cloaker will open, the, the undigested food will pass through. So we're going to stop here. In our next video, we're going to continue. Perhaps that moment, we're going to be comparing some of the features, um, some of the features like the um, the lungs and the gills. We're going to compare them and look at other ones that we um, we'll are likely to expect in the exam. Thank you for coming this far. And if you have not subscribed, we encourage you to subscribe. And then make sure you watch the next video that's coming up in regards to the preparation for this exam. Thank you so much.